Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Wang. Here I ask the question. A test has 20 questions. For each question, eight points for a correct answer. Negative five points for a incorrect answer. And a zero points for no answer. Tom had 13 points. How many questions has he left unanswered? We define three new variables here. X equals the number of correct answer. Y equals the number of wrong answer. Z equals the number of no answer. Certainly here, X, Y, and Z are non-negative integers. The question is, what is Z? According to the given condition we have, x plus y plus z plus 20. Totally, we have 20 questions, including correct answer, wrong answer, no answer. Based on the grading policy, eight points for correct answer. That means eight times x. For wrong answer, for wrong answer, negative five points for each question, zero for no answer. Tom got 13 points. Eight times x, that's the points for corrected part. Negative five times y, that's a point for wrong questions. Now we can solve this linear system. We use the second condition to get a result. Eight times y plus x. Expanding this left hand side equals 8x plus 8y. We minus 5y plus 5y to match the left hand side. This part is 13. 5y plus 8y equals 13y. 13 is the common factor. We factor 13 out. 8 times x plus y equals 13 times 1 plus y. Checking both sides. 13 is a prime number. 8 is an even number. 8 and 13 are relative prime. Therefore, x plus y is divisible by 13. Because x plus y plus z less than or equal to 20. Therefore, x plus y is less than or equal to 20, and the big z or equal to 0. It is also divisible by 13. In this interval, we only have one value for x, y, which is divisible by 13. x plus y equals 13. From the given condition, total number of questions, that's 20 including three different situations, x plus y plus z.
x plus y equals 13. What is z? z equals x plus y plus z minus x plus y. Therefore, z equals 20 minus 13 equals 7. 7 is the final answer. That's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.